Welcome to the simple neuroscience of autism. Autism is often used as a condition descriptor, but in reality, autism is a spectrum disorder that encompasses a variety of conditions and symptom presentations that all share a few common traits. The core diagnostic symptoms are social communication difficulties, restricted interests, and repetitive behaviors. Many individuals also struggle with executive function skills. However, these characteristics are where the similarities between people with autism end. Autism is a genetic condition, but the exact related genes are not fully known. Specific subsections of autism spectrum disorder have different genetic causes. For instance, Fragile X syndrome has a single gene mutation it can be attributed to. However, just like the individual's traits, there are over 100 genes that have been attributed to ASD. There is also little known about the neuroscience behind the condition, but current research suggests that the difference occurs at the cellular level. When we grow up, our brains produce many neurons that each connect to many more neurons. However, this isn't very efficient, and that's why young children have very high creativity, but lower self-control and higher thinking skills. Through adolescence, dominant neuron tracks form, and unnecessary connections are eliminated. This makes us able to focus better and have greater concentration and emotional understanding. However, for people with autism spectrum disorder, they may not lose neurons and form dominant tracks the same way that others do. This can occur at different extents and may explain why people with ASD struggle with some skills, but often have extraordinary creativity and out-of-the-box thinking because their brains are simply wired in a more connected way. Thank you for watching.